What's up, y'all? It's your boy Isaiah Stanback back in the building again for another episode of Let Me Tell You Something. I'm here with Big Nate Dog, no other than my guy, Big Nate, over here. What's up, man? And, man. Uh, and, and Nate, we, we got a guest today. Yes, we do. Who, who, who we got over here, Nate? We got Russell Flanagan. Uh, he has a, he wears many hats. You know, he's a professional trainer. He mentors people. Mm -hmm. He works with youth. Uh, he's done from football to soccer to basketball, male or female. He worked with everyone, all genders, all races. Okay. He's been over in Rockwall doing his thing, and uh, we call him Sea Fly. Sea Fly. You know, yeah, we call him Sea Fly, and he's here for a special reason. Today. Yeah, yeah. And so, so the word on the street is, how, how'd you get the nickname? How'd you get the nickname of, of Fly? Yeah, that, that came from running, man, back in, you know, Watch this, being raised up in Bonton. Yeah. But that's where that's, I'm from. Everybody from somewhere. <laughs> and Bonton I, what? I, South Dallas. South Dallas. Yeah, you know. side, <laughs> side. yeah. South Side. And may rest in peace my my uh, receivers coach, Coach Fred Allen. Okay. Right. Head track coach. He named me Fly back in the ninth grade. Okay. So, so I never played no ninth grade sports. Okay. And uh, so I was on varsity. And then I started my sophomore year on varsity in football. Okay. And uh, the nickname Fly stuck. And then... Uh, when I came back from college, Texas Southern, okay. uh, I was out there with him training some kids, and uh, and he would always say, well, why don't you get in the school district? And I said, well, y'all get paid once some money. He said, you've been out here two years for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I gave him 17 Facts. and a half years. You know there saying? you go. So, but you know, so, nobody, nobody's slow gets the name Fly. Yeah, no, it's not what, like What today. did you run, Coach? What, what was your skills? What, what, uh, what did you do? Fast, but uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, scratch the four by one and the four by four. Ooh, right. ooh yeah. you stretch yeah. that thing out. See, I, yeah, I, man, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't run anything that had a curve. Let, <laughs> if it had a curve, it was too far. I, I didn't say I liked that 400, <laughs> but, but, he, but he trusted me enough. Okay, and, and at that time, being a real kid, yeah, I had no clue of the thought process I have now. All I know, I didn't like it yeah. so. He said, boy, you don't want to run the 400, just run me two 200s back to back. I can do that. Mm. And, uh, uh, and that's what it led to. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it worked out, man. That's so, respect. Uh, it, it's been a blessing. And uh, even back in with my old self, it was at uh, 06, they brought m myself. Rod Jones was the first round draft pick to uh, right. Cincinnati Bengals. Leslie Brooks and Tommy Love led to the uh, pin relays okay. to, right. to, to break the, uh, the the run the four by one. Yeah, it was them. And see, they would just turn forty. Okay, I was forty seven. Right, mm. right. Yeah, but we ran forty one one. Wow. Say so it was. I ran on ankle leg with me with Billy White Shoe Johnson, Harvey Glass. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, so it, it was fun. Y'all was moving. And yeah, I, awesome. I really thought that I was gonna be the coach. Yeah. Nah, they say, and, and and I worked for like two months on the scratch league, and we get to the meet. They said, we want to give you the honor of being an anchor. Wow. Change everything. And I was like, well, it's still curves. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. facts. And pen really is really nothing but curve. Yep. Right. Absolutely. So Absolutely. That, okay. That's what Fly came along. All right, so Fly. What, what, what was your nickname growing up, Nate, though? Big Time. Big Time. Big Time New, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't going to go into that bad. <laughs> we don't go in, that's another level. You know, I, let me tell you something. When I go down, I'm about to tell you something, bro, for real. Well, we, man, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, but... uh. I'm telling you, we 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 cracking jokes here. We having fun, but we got him for him for a serious uh, deal, man. And Isaiah explain that a little further when he get time. Yeah, I mean, we so we just talked about in a, in a previous episode about cuts, right? In NFL and and how serious of a matter that is. And everybody wants to talk about the big name players and the 53 guys that made the roster. And now there's 16 guys on the practice squad, right? There's a lot more good guys that are right. part of the team now. But got a you know, job, huh? yeah, I got a job. But <laughs> yeah. but and they getting paid good too. I think yeah, practice right. squad getting paid about 200 now. Yeah, Ooh, okay. made That's me want to nice. stretch a little bit. Right. Okay? I, <laughs> <laughs> Say, I might have a couple goals left, right. but um, but for those other guys, right? Those other guys that that don't get the job, those guys that have been working their tails off for their entire lives. Um, now, what's their reality, right? Their reality in terms of getting cut. You know, that's what you guys hear. You guys hear they got cut. Transition tra translation release, for those released fired. fired. Yeah. Okay. That's so not this year. Told we don't need we don't need you and we don't want you. Right. So that's the translation to the to the regular individual walking around. So guys got fired, and most people don't know what to do when they get fired. And there's a lot that people deal with mentally when they when they face a traumatic. Uh, you know, a, a aspect of their life like that. Some mm -hmm. something that's groundbreaking in that regards. They, these people who have been the best at what they do in their entire lives, and then all of a sudden they get told you're not good enough or we don't need you. Right. That's a lot to deal with. Right. And that's a lot mm -hmm. to deal with. Wow. So 
they're those individuals they're most of the time they don't have the resources anymore you know, most of, they don't have the resources. They are literally kicked out. You know, hey, move out the hotel by the end of today. Get your stuff, throw it in a plastic bag, go on about your life, figure it out because we got a season to get ready for. You know, right. this is this is week one of the NFL season. Um, you know, when this episode airs, it'll be Thursday night. You know, Thursday, you know, there's Thursday night football. Obviously, the Rams and the Bills are kicking off. But there's a lot of dudes sitting at the crib watching. And yeah. they, and let me add this right here because you got to understand, this is, this is the same for – a rookie, a second year, or even a twelve year veteran. Yep. And the more and the more years you have, the more responsibilities you have. Facts. You got some of these guys not only have their wives and children that they have brought into the game, they got mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, cousins. Correct. That they have never seen that's worked their way into the game. So now you 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 building up uh responsibility that in your mind that you have to continue on. And if you haven't prepared yourself mentally for this, sometimes you can have a collapse. You could definitely have a collapse. And, and speaking of that collapse, that, that comes in different forms for everybody. Right? right. So whether you're getting cut for the first time, whether you're getting cut and they're telling you that your career is over and you don't right. have any other options, there's a transition period for some of these guys. Mm, right. And that transition can be difficult. We hear about it all the time. You know, the average length of an of a NFL career is, you know, two and a half to three years. Yes. And then they say that two and a half to three years because that three years is when you're vested. Right, so they make sure that that cutoff is right around that same time, so they don't have to lock you in. Exactly, three years, four games. So that's the average length of a a professional football player's career. What happens when they have to now transition into something else? What is your identity? Um, It sucks, right? NFL, I mean, not for long. Not for long, absolutely. And a lot of times, I know for myself, I didn't want to have any time off. I read the stories. I read the stories of guys that struggle. I read the stories. Uh, I saw guys that, that had a hard time making that transition, and I did not want to fall victim yes. to that. Um, so in order to not do that, I just stayed busy. right? I just mm-hmm. stayed as busy as I could to not allow for myself to have those negative thoughts and not allow myself to deal with those mental battles. But everybody doesn't necessarily have that option. Right. Um, and mm-hmm. one of the reasons why we brought we wanted to bring you on here, coach, is because you had a relationship with somebody who was who was near and dear to my heart. One of the guys I respected, and I I think about our conversations often down to you know down to camp in San Antonio. I used to ride with him back to the hotel, and uh, that's somebody that I think is is held near and dear to a lot of fans, especially in Dallas. And that's Marion Barber. Man, I go back to uh, Thursday. May 26, 2022. Okay. Being the last time that he spent time with me, uh, he went with me to train a couple of young men. And uh, and we'll show you some things later, you know, after the show. Mm -hmm. Uh, So that was Thursday. So this uh, Detective Adams from uh, the Frisco Police Department. Well, let me back up. Brian Warren's little cowboy called Mm -hmm. me. And... uh, I don't know the lady's name from the apartment she stayed in. So they was like, Coach, have you spoken to uh, Marion? I said, yeah, I was just with him. Uh, this, was on, this was on Wednesday right, when they right. called me. Right. I said, we were just together uh, Thursday, you know, hung out all day Thursday. And they said, well, we were trying to get into his apartment. And it's dead voted. And it wasn't registering with me then. Like, right. I'm just dead voted. So yeah, we on we on. I guess we on three way because I I don't know if, if they was on two way, but they right. called me, so I'm talking to both of them. So they said, "Well, can you call him?" And I said, "Well," because they say he answered you, so I called, but it went straight to voicemail. Mm-hmm. So I texted him, he hit me hit me up. So it went on. So they hung up. They said, and then they called me right back and said, "Well, do you uh, we're gonna do a welfare because I guess it was some water running or something." Right, right, and I. And so they was like, can you come out? But I was so far away at that time. I, so I guess they ended up calling the uh, fire department. Okay. So then I'm on the phone. And I said, well, just call me back. Let me know what's going on. So obviously they kicked the door in. And I think everybody else knows the story. Right, right. And uh, like I said, when the detective Adams called me, which I still never met him, I, I ended up calling uh, MB's... Uh, Brother Dom, call his dad. Just give them what's going on. Yeah. And uh, 
then when they told me that uh, you know how they found him, like you know, my, in my mind, I, I just with him, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, right. and what, what was what was that? What was his state? You know, when when you were with him, what's this MB? Yep, coach, 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 coach. He, he gonna be another goon. That, that's MB, and uh, and then he always wanted to get out and experiment with him and show him, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, you know, it's what I'm saying because people. Okay, let, let's, and I'm not talking about MB, the football player. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about MB, who uh, I'll speak on this in a minute, called himself, who gave me his personal book, and he wanted to rename himself The Thou the Third. Right. And I never understood what he was, and I, even though hearing him, The Thou, it wasn't making sense to me until I physically Created opened this book yeah. up. You got a Bible here. Man, you know, just lift it up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back it all the way up. Yeah, uh, Isaiah. Yeah. yeah. How did you meet MB? MB, and uh, we're talking about Mary and Barbara. Yes. Pulled back for the Dallas Cowboys that recently passed, and we're talking about mental, the mental state of mind that he was in. And I want you to go all the way back to when you first met, met him okay. and how y'all got yeah. built a relationship and go from there and how his mental how stable was he at that point and where oh, yeah, okay. he may have started getting a little bit off track. Let's re- I'm finna rewind this thing. We're gonna Michael Jackson right. this thing. There you go. Yeah, back right. there, yeah. Uh I was training at that time quite a few athletes in the league. Uh Tyson Thompson being one. Mm-hmm. So I at that time I think M B and Tyson end up being roommates. But M B and Sam Hurd and <laughs> Shaw Charles, they was all going out to Michael Johnson during that period. Right. So Tyson was coming to see me, meet Demetrius Underwood. Right. And uh, so Tyson would always say, man, they want to come, man. But then finally decided to let MB come. Right. And I say Sam came, Charles came. The floodgates opened up. Big, uh, big Octavia, they, mm-hmm. it just opened up. And then uh, Jesse. Jesse Holly. Yeah. Jesse Holly, yes. Oh, boy, Jesse Holly, yes, sir. Yeah. And then uh, MB said, we going out there paying all this, not trying to hurt his business, all yeah, this money. Man, business closed, actually. And he right. said, we still cannot run this camp. Right. Talking about Tyson. And he said, Tyson was a priority for him. I'm a fourth-round pick. He never left from that day. And that went on for, like, I would finish, finish up the Cowboys, and when he went to Chicago. Right. So, uh, so you talking about physical training. What, what type of training are you Speed doing? and conditioning. Speed and conditioning. There you go. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so he stayed. So then... This cat would just, before I even go further, and I'm talking about my personal opinion, right. he was an angel on earth. Mm. Right. Or as a giver. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he gave. Yeah. He had some issues later on. And, and this is me saying, this is Russell Fanning and Coach Fly saying. Right. CTE. Because I spent the last yep. five years some change with him. I'm talking about daily, seven days in a week. I know what he goes. What, what are some of the things when you started to see him change? Where <clears throat> he went from? Give us a picture of who. Okay, I knew he was a giver, but tell us who he was before that. Person. Humble man. Listen, I wouldn't care where we went. And <laughs> boy, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hold some tears. Yeah, understood. Because it get personal. Right. Uh, every time we pull up wherever we're going, he want to bless. So I'm, I'm using the words now, bless. Right, right. Bless someone. And I would say, MB, you can't, why time, every time we give somebody, we pull up and give them somebody some money. What allowed me, or God allowed me to listen, become a sponge. Right. MB said, Coach, why you want to stop me from blessing somebody? Mm-hmm. Y'all hear what I just said? Mm-hmm. Why y'all want, why you want to stop me from blessing somebody? Yeah. And I said, boy, you sure right. So we would go, but he did it so well, I knew something was wrong mm. because he never gave less than $100 to whoever it was. Right. I could have been and just gave him some money because right. yeah. he said he needed, he needed. Right. And he'd turn around and give that away because we'll get some more, we'll get some more. All right. Mm. I'm talking about size now, right? Right. Then... The vehicles, you know, he had to make exotic vehicles. Mm-hmm. And start giving them away, man. 
What kind no. of vehicles was he giving away? Like the Benz. He had this 64 Chevy had tripped yep. out. Yep, customized that Custom- I remember that. Gave it, gave it to a homeless dude. You hear what I just said? Yeah. And, and, and I'm going go, and I'm, and I'm to say this right here, and I'm not going to call any names and stuff like this, Isaiah, but churches, oh, pastors, <sighs> and, and instead of them, they <laughs> see this is this thing about it, and what I'm trying to get people to see here is he started losing touch with what was reality mm-hmm. and what was not. People taking advantage. Yeah, and they took advantage of him. Took advantage. And he never, and he never, he, wa- he never wavered. His belief yes. in who he was and what he thought, uh, and what he knew, and what he thought because that's what he did, because what he knew was, I, I, I'm here to help people, but also he felt pressure from that. Yes. That man, he was lost. If he didn't do it, he felt pressure and he yes. was lost. Yeah. Yes. And so it mentally started yes. messing with him. So yes. without getting too personal, did he ever seek help? I, like I said, without calling names. So I got yeah. in touch with <clears throat> someone from the NFLPA and he really started networking with me. So they was going to allow us to go to New Orleans, San Diego, North Carolina, and somewhere in an hour yeah. to, for two days. Yep. So you know what I'm talking about. Yep. And they say, Coach Fly, because he don't want to go nowhere without you. So I said, we going. So, uh, and then MB was a prankster too now. Yeah, absolutely. So he said, so we going, Coach? I said, yeah, we going. He said, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. He said, man, they just, I said, MB, listen, I think it was three levels of this grade for this CT. I said, man, you going to. Because Dwayne Goodrich, I'm, I, and I, yeah. I apologize, I left Dwayne, I trained Dwayne Goodrich as well. Right. right. So we were getting in touch with folks, and uh, it was just everything was lined up, but MB said, Coach, everybody going to be thinking I'm crazy. And I used to say, MB, I think you crazy, because right. that's, that's what we did. He said, well, Coach, it's all right for you to think that, because I wow. love you. Right. And, uh, so, 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 <laughs> so, man, this is so, so as, as giving – as he was, as humble as he was, in terms of him, I and I'm speaking from experience and obviously from your experience that you shared, him him wanting to bless other people, him wanting to make other people's lives do God's work, right? do God's do God's work, man. right? He's, I mean, that's that's the conversations we've that's had. It. We've been about faith. Do God's yeah. work. Um, you know, we used to do Bible study together. We did all those things together. So all those, a lot of those guys, your name, and we was in the, in yes. the same circle. And um, as much as he was so concerned about others' well being. When he came to himself, oh, he put wow. himself on a back burner. Listen, uh, glad you asked. Yeah. I don't even think he was on the back burner. Mm-hmm. I don't even think he had a burner. Because mm-hmm. if he was on the back burner, he gave it to somebody else. Yeah. See, that's what nobody Talks about. is talking about. Yeah. This cat. And I'm not talking He's about consistent. The, the barbarian. Yeah. I'm talking about human. Say, yeah. man. Bob, it's just MB. It's MB, man. The boats he gave away. And see, all for you, all you people that started using him, yeah. he would have gave it to you anyway. Yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? He would have gave it to you anyway. <clears throat> this cat, man. Can can you without without saying names in particular, and I know we're gonna we're gonna try to keep it as yes, as, yes. we're not we're yeah, not exactly bashing anybody. That's for the legal to handle. But what did you personally see? People do in terms of taking advantage of him, and as a CT, now CT comes in so many stages. I've seen personally experience people that I've trained fall victim to CT, and, oh, and, and how fast it comes. It comes. So right. It comes from them being the, the joyous, happy, go lucky individual that you know that's passionate and loving and caring and giving, and it seemingly is always with like the, the loving, caring right. people, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden. Somebody asked them for, you know, to borrow some money for a business and they don't do their due diligence, right? And they just give it away, right? And when we're talking about six figures, you know, right. giving it away. Oh, and then vehicles, giving it away. You know, I need, oh, I need, I don't have no housing. I'll take care of that. And their storages, their financial storages just keep going down, right? They keep going down. And they're putting, when I say put themselves on a the back burner, yeah. right? It wasn't mentality. I can give more, right? I, the, because of their faith in particular, right. right? At least the individuals that I know that have been, right. that, their experiences, their faith, there is so high. They're like, I'm going to be good. They're not good. I am right. good, right? Let me help them. 
right. become good. Wow. You know what MB would do? It, again, we we speaking to everybody now. We just yeah. see one thing about right. There's yeah. no wrong in it. Yep. Yeah. Every month, MB say, "Find a family, Coach Lai, and we're gonna bless them." He would say, "He stuck we on there." He wanted every bill. That's why when I say, "Ah, oh, y'all call yourself using them," he would have done it anyway. Right. And, and I'm gonna pay their bills. No cameras following us, man. Yeah. This Mary and Bob, MB, I'm talking about, that he would do that. Joe, I say, MB, that's not just not a good. Sign. And at this time, he's done playing, right? He's done, he's done playing. He's been, been out for four checks five aren't, years. Five, five, yes. Checks aren't coming no more. Man, right? he gets he was getting whatever. Oh, God, I say I'm gonna go. Yep. We'll talk. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. wasn't playing no more. Yeah, he wasn't playing no more. But everybody wants to. Uh, okay. Well. Uh, Go fly your boy out there. But you got to be out there too, if you seen it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Put, put a title on him out there. What you talking about? Yeah. Right. See, again, everybody want to find I, I don't I don't I'm using everyone loosely. Mm -hmm. Wanna see, see see the negative. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, what about all this that, that we're talking about as we speak now? And this is the first time I'm actually speaking on it. Yeah. So if my, it hadn't been for my boy. Yeah, absolutely. Like, Understand. I wouldn't. Understood. You're not doing. Yeah, you're not doing this for. Yeah. The, the, the thing that bothers me the most is, is this this mental thing. It's real. It's, it's so real, and it's reaching out to all races, all genders. Yeah. Uh, our government, our state, and our counties oh. have took away all help. They, years and years ago, they closed down the mental institutions at hospitals and institutions in itself yeah. that catered to this uh, type of person with this illness. And then when you see a young man, a young lady, uh, even a small child that's starting out in, with the wrong, you know, you know, needing yeah. help, we uh, we as a society ignore it. Yeah, man, like and, the, and 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 that word, ideas. that word, crazy. That ain't funny. No. It used to be when we was growing up because people could go out and get help. But now you're alone to, you're left to your own devices people, and it's not people it's not feel going more well. now. Somebody tears their ACL. Oh man. Yes. That's terrible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And it is terrible physically. But right. guess what? They're gonna be okay. The mental aspect, if you don't address it, yes. you're not gonna be okay. Yes. And I know one of the individuals that I that I trained particular, I you know, I was referencing seeing that 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 regression, right? You know where they wow. started out giving a little bit, right? They had it to give, right? But they're sort of blessing other people, right? And they're and they're, and all of a sudden now they're getting into it with their significant others, right? And they're and they're and they're speaking outside of themselves, right? And then all of a sudden you know they're having outbursts, right? And then all of a sudden this individual I know he tried to kill himself, right? Mm. Was unsuccessful at killing himself. Right after being unsuccessful at killing himself, he disowned his his wife and and started calling some person that he dated years ago as his as his wife. Right, right? and just the whole, I mean the whole I mean it just just fell apart. And I'm talking about over the span of months. You know it's it's crazy, and, and I want I need both of y'all to keep me like because I want to go back about the church and pastors. Yes, please. But when when MB we, you know, he had the rock wall when it got too big when he was living down in the Crescent. Anyway, he bought the home in uh, Mansfield. We everybody saw when he got arrested, right? Because they say it's black man in the driveway, right? And he owned the house, <laughs> but the, the the news and the uh, yeah the way they framed it, it, it was like this. I'm just you paraphrasing, it. yeah. Right. But when they found out it, when they said it was his house, it probably had a print Small, like this. Yeah. But here's another deal, and, and y'all help me with this. So did he get religion? Wouldn't he, he did? Because he's at his own place, right. absolutely. And they made it when to make him kept. Coasting him to come out the driveway, which he ended up doing. Okay, he got arrested, right? And now y'all help me with this. When you get arrested, they take you to a, some station, right? That's right. They took him to a mental institution. Where do they do that at? Yeah. Now, I can see if he had him went to the jail and then transferred him. Right. He went straight to a mental institution in Fort Worth. What do they do that at? Yeah. What was that about? He was obviously already targeted. I don't know. I, I, no, no answer to that. Now the church. He gave a pastor one point something. It's faith. 
Then he shares with me. And we're talking about being used now. Yeah. Okay, and then, again, this is Russell Flanagan saying what he's saying, so it fault me for saying it. Yeah. Some preacher's going to bust hell wide open. They just Let a man. Tell you something. Yes, sir. Yeah, I agree with that. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, he had he gave yeah. gave one pastor one point. I want to say one point two. Right. It could have been one point seven. It don't matter with one point. Right. Then he was told to get his other seven ministers. Two point eight. I mean, not two point. I'm sorry. Two and eighty five. And and they're and they're to be blessed. And these individuals, this is not, it's not speaking for the entire no. faith, right? No. Um, there's, there's vultures everywhere. It doesn't matter how, you know, what form they come. But they were praying on his, on his religion. Yes, on his yeah. faith. On his faith, yeah. right? You know. um, and be a big-time Christian. Had I mean, faith out the wazoo, right? And so when somebody who's a leader in that in that in that particular um, religion, comes and says that they need something for the ministry or they need something for whatever. When you're in a position to do so, and you have a heart like MB had, he gave from his. This this is what bothers me is I didn't know Mary and Barbara like you two guys, and then I started listening to. Not you, Coach, because I, I didn't even know how close y'all was. Jesse. I listened to Jesse Holly. Yeah. Then I listened to Skip, uh, running back coach mm -hmm. here at the Cowboys. And I listened, and I started thinking, well, what happened? Mm -hmm. What happened to Marion, the guy that had it going on and probably had plans that would would have prospered him financially? Mm -hmm. He had all of this in place. In place. What made him... Go the other way. Yeah. Was it one too many hits? Mm. Was it was it uh he I don't know if he was a drinker. I don't know. Was it his responsibility or the pressure of family members, friends? What because Jesse Holly said he was paying at one time for him, and Jesse said he felt so bad because he was paying for his workouts and taking care of him. Coach was like, hey, it's, it's okay, I got you. And so I'm saying. Coach Fly, you know, I understand the people that used him, but where did you start seeing him change and say it's and start saying, "Wow, you know, okay. is, did he ever feel okay. pressure from anybody?" Yeah, and, I, and I didn't didn't mean to mean lead yeah. direct Jamaica wrecked that. I mean, I'm yeah. just talk, had him to right. Kenny Wheaton, uh, Jamaica and I got together. Mm. MB was living and moved to Frisco. So Jamaica was like, Coach Cloud, and we not respond. And, and Jess and I was talking on the phone until mm -hmm. we had the interview with CMT. Then we came right. together. And he uh he said, MB is not. So I, I would call MB. <laughs> MB, what 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 what's the address? I, I, I'm good, coach. I'm good. I'm good. I, I come to your house, I come and, and he would. Right. And uh you start Some of, the but something as small as that, though, right? Yeah. The isolation aspect, right? right? Yes. Like, like, don't, see that? So you yeah. felt that, yeah? Right. So then it's like I start. Okay, he don't want me to see whatever his. He don't want me to see, right? But in the same breath, he respected me enough to not see whatever it is. I'm, I'm, right. see, I'm trying to make it make sense with me now. Yeah. So we would always just you come and, and he went and got him a. 2002, Mercury uh, Monarch. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at MB, MB what, what, what's this? MB, come on now. I want to be low profile. I said, no, no, the little dope dealer, all them trying to drive these little cars like Right, this. right. So why would you want this? And if I say, now, can I say pimping? Mm -hmm. I already said it. <laughs> yeah. The car was pimping him. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, I'm telling you, it, it, every little thing. So I said, MB, we were spending so much money. And what what year was this, Coach? What? This was uh, this was in 20. Right, <laughs> right. So it started a big change, started around then? Or so, it, 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 when it started. Didn't want the, he didn't want any attention on him. Right. Yes. Yeah, he was there. So they started yeah. pulling back. So he would always, he would. 
So I was, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna call a name Brian Warmsley. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm reaching out to him, and he's he's on board. Right. I'm telling you, he's on oh, board. Yeah, ones, yeah. And uh, we're just trying to get avenues together, and and, and, and MB said they don't want to help. MB, I got, I got this. Mm -hmm. And he was. And again, you all going, you two will really understand more after the show. But MB had his hand stuck out for somebody to grab him. Mm -hmm. He was asking for help. Yes. But, you know, he was such a, an, an intimidating factor when you looked at him. Yeah. And then he shared something else with me that made a lot of sense. I'm, I'm treating this thing like a puzzle. See, sometimes I act a fool and folks will stay away from me. Mm -hmm. Now, I heard him. I don't say I agree with it, but I'm saying CTE. Yeah. And people will get back. And uh, he said, because I don't trust nobody no more. So create de degrees of separation. Yes. yes. So when you said that, man, so, but then yeah, he, 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 he would always want to talk to me. This man knew Faith, the Bible, yeah. man. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, and I would look like he just and he would quote. I said, "MB, I'm not that deep in it." <laughs> right. So he said, "I could take you right to it and take me to it." And listen, number when he gave me the self, I had never. I didn't know anything. I knew about the Bible. I didn't know about the self. Right. I'm telling you, I had this book probably a year and something before I really just. Well, in it, because I, I just got a lot of MB stuff I got together. And when I first learned, it says Marion, and he scratched through it, the thou the third. Right. And it's when it first, he always said, I'm changing my name to the thou the third. He says, see, because when you speak of God, say thee and thou, God. Right. It's in the book. Then he wrote these initials. This is all his writing. Right. And, and that explains everything that it is. Right. And as I go through the book, say, man, but I felt more privileged that he, see, because I was like, man, don't give me your Bible, that's your, he said, but there's nobody I want to have it but you. And I got it. But I didn't open it up, wait, maybe if I had opened it up back then, I don't know. But I mean, God had it planned the way he had it planned. And, and, but, and he wanted to, he said, coach, maybe we can go to a, to a Cowboys game, I say, I said, that's a phone call for you. I said, no, I don't want nobody to know I'm there. Yep. Gosh, man. So many dog It's yeah. like I, I hear my I hear like a younger version of myself when you yeah. say those things. You know, my, my wife and other people want to go to the games. I'd be like, if we if we go to the games, we sitting up top. Right. So I don't when, want nobody to see me. So when y'all asked me what I was started seeing, I started seeing this kind of thing. Wow. And then he was like, Coach Ben, uh, that's just, he, he loved kids yep. and animals. <laughs> you know why? And he said, Coach Fly, I love kids and animals because guess what? They innocent. Yeah. They don't judge me. Mm -hmm. And then he would tell me, Gosh, I'm man. getting to the, to the May, Thursday, May 26, 2022. Mm -hmm. And this other guy came down, a neighbor man, Ken Smith. We call him Smith. He came down because I introduced him and his grandson to him a couple of years back. And he saw him, and he sat there for a little bit over two hours. And MB was just saying, I got to say this. He said, Coach Fly, when he, when he, <laughs> well, I got to laugh now because MB, when he talked low to me, he's mm -hmm. like, he said, Coach Fly, boy, I can't, meet, I can't wait to meet Jesus in person. Right. Then he started to cry, man. Then... I teared up myself, so this made it because, like, and I like, I said, "What are we crying for?" And I'm saying this again because I'm, I'm going bits and pieces. I know it's not in order now. Yeah. Thursday, May 26, 2022. When the detective called me, say, "You, these phones, y'all, they know everything." Mm -hmm. I'm about yeah. you. He said, "You were the last somebody he was with personally. You wouldn't the last somebody he talked to, right. but he hadn't let somebody saw him when he went in this to his uh, apartment." But uh, they found him that Wednesday, June 1st. Mm -hmm. And he said he could have been dead since uh, May 27th. Right, right. 
Right. So, as we sit here, do I feel privileged that I spend time with him? I even mm. that, that I'm talking about that particular day. Right. And uh, and then when you called me, Nate, because you even say it again, I didn't get to know the young man. And and but, the reason I I called him is because you know you hear these speculations and you yeah. hear. But they want you. The grievances he's been through in the last yeah. few years through the media. And here I am, seriously, finna judge this cat. Yeah. Off of what I heard from some media folks. Yep. And uh Jesse Holly yes, yeah. came in that morning on our show crying about Mary. And I'm like, I'm looking at him. And then when he went to explaining, and then two or three weeks ago, Coach Fly lost another friend. To a tragic incident, like Hickman. and uh, and that's when we really got to talking yeah. about Mary, and I'm like, I am so glad God stopped me. You, you said those words from saying something horrendous about this kid I knew nothing about. That bothered me, and then when me and you talked a couple of weeks ago about mental deal, I'm like, man, this be a great thing yeah, just to let so people good. know about Mary and Bob and how great a man he was. Man. I think, man, yeah. I just and I don't, and I, I don't I, even I, think Jesse Holly knew. That we knew each other. Yeah. yeah. You, you said you stayed yeah. quiet and you let yeah, him talk. Just let him talk. I think back to, and this is why we always say, give people your, you know, their flowers yeah, while they're yes. here. Yeah. Uh, you know, because now my last memory of MB is not MB. You know what I mean? So yeah. I was I was eating with my family at a restaurant, and um, and like I said, me and B, we you know, teach us all them guys. We just climb around in the locker room and. Wow. We trained together, all that kind of stuff, right? We just, you know, it was just, it was a it was a team, right? Your brothers. My last memory, I was eating at a restaurant, and I'm getting ready to we're getting ready to pay to leave, and I look over, and I see somebody in a booth, two guys in a booth eating, and I'm looking, I'm like, man, it looked like he got his dress off. I couldn't. I, don't, I think he had a hoodie on. He had a hoodie on. Okay. Yeah. And then it goes back to the isolation, right? Yeah. I don't want nobody yeah. to see me, yeah. and I'm looking, I'm like that. Ain't no way, you know. And 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 through text messages, right? You know, you know, Instagram stuff like that. We have these these group texts where, yeah. you know, a lot of our ex teammates and stuff like that. We're all in these same groups, and we and everybody's talking. You know, we talked about, hey, have you talked to MB? You know, have you seen them? Have you know, have we invited them here? We saw them here. We did this. You know, we're trying to you know reel them in. All these different things, right? To try to create this sense of this support system for him, right? But the isolation aspect, he never, he, we always detach. Yeah. And when I seen him, it's almost like we saw each other. Yeah, but you did. We saw each other, and then he like tried to hide himself. That's him. Uh, That's him. And it it freak it I mean it freaking took it out of me, dude. Like I'm up here getting teary right now, but it took it out of me because I'm looking. I'm like, that's not that's not my dude. Right. You know. And I told my wife, I'm like, I think that's my dog. And she's like, what? I'm like, I think that's my dude, MB. Yeah. And I'm getting and we get up and we're walking out the restaurant, and I'm walking past their booth and I'm looking at him because I didn't know for sure for sure, right? I look at him and I can see he like he, he like mm-hmm. tries to tries to like tug his head. I'm like. Can I do? Can I do an MB moment? Duh, for you? Yeah. You think you know him? Yeah, he going Yeah, exactly. It's just what he does. That's what he did. So he did just like that. I'm like MB. I'm like, oh, what's up, Zay? He ain't like just reaches down. Like, yeah, up, that's man? him. What's up, what's up so, Zay? I'm so, like, so when you speak of signs, mm. and that, you felt like I went all over. It was so many signs that I knew something was wrong. Mm. What you just said. Uh, uh, if I'm sitting next to him, I'm uh, try to get small. Coach, you want me? But you know what's so funny is, and th- this is where you know things went mentally right, because the next minute he, he got a big weight right. Come, you know what I'm saying? And, and that unstable part. And, 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 that, and that's why I think we in society, the NFL got things in place, and he tried yeah. to get these things activated. But just when he thought he had him be hooked, yeah, coach, you go. Yo, ha ha ha. Yeah. You know, yeah. See, they man. want help, man, and it's almost to the point. And, and he's not the only one out there like that. And we no. know our people need help. I'm talking about human race. I ain't talking right. about no race or no yeah. gender. Human race. So when you know a person need help, it's got to be a way in society. You, you, and I'm and I'm being ugly right now. You can help a dog, and nobody says a word. You can call a humane society. You can take this dog and take care of this dog. But we won't even do this for our brothers and sisters. Think about um, that, man. I like to. Think about that. I like to encourage. Yeah. 
everybody out there who this isn't just for athletes. No. Right. This I'd like to encourage anybody out there who knows whether somebody has dealt with something traumatic, whether it be somebody passing their family, whether it be they were, you know, physically assaulted, sexually assaulted. There's a lot of people that are dealing with depression. Yes. Um a lot of things revolving around mental health, not just CTE oriented. Um, but just mental health in general. Um, anybody who's who's pay attention first of all, have a relationship with somebody well enough where you can identify these things these, that are out of order. You talk about consistency. There's always going to be something that's inconsistent. Right. And if you're if you identify that, try your best to find them some help because the reality is, whether you're a big time football player, whether you're just a, a you know, I have you know, female friends that, are, like I said, that, that have been raped. Right. Um, wow. Typically, they make themselves small. Mm. They belittle themselves. Yes. They try to go away from society and isolate. And Don't, and you know, they try to disappear. Don't allow that to happen. However, I, there's, I don't have one way of going about it. But when you feel like that's going on and you feel that in your spirit, I'm, a, I'm a, obviously I'm a believer. If you feel that in your spirit and you feel led to that that person has something that's going on, seek help for that person because most of the time they're not going to seek it for themselves. Because, and this thing don't come with no instructions. No. <laughs> but they become, like, shameful. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to disappoint nobody. Uh, you know, it's an image thing. But MB, to me, balanced it so well mm -hmm. that... Okay, we riding down the street one time. MB's driving, and I say, MB, pull the car down. You know, and he's flying. I say, MB, pull over. He pull up. I get out. Cool. I say, MB, I told you, slow down. I don't, don't want to ride like this. Right, right. Oh, he and he used to push it. Boy, he, that boy took me to the airport one time. Like, we go one thirty. <laughs> so, hey, brother. <laughs> so, I brought this up for a reason. So, when I decided to get back in, he said, Coach, then you want to drive? I said, Yeah. I said, Now you drive. And it, and it was cool. <clears throat> so, one of the youngsters I had played for Allen, Raylan Sharp, was their starting quarterback after Murray left. Well, two years after Murray left. Went down, to, took him down to U University of Houston with his dad, Ray Sharp. MB went with us because he wanted to go talk to this young man. Right. Yeah. And he did. He was willing to see. That's what I'm saying. People don't know this good. Yeah. And then uh, mm -hmm. we did a turnaround. I said, MB, I'm going to chase you on the highway. Ray was looking at me like, you sure, Coach? I said, yeah. Man, MB got us all the way back, man. Coach, 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 Coach. Did I drive good? I said, you yeah, did I? Right. And I'm just saying that's from Houston back yeah. to Dallas. Yeah. So now stuff that really, I watch this, I didn't feel meant something, it means everything. Yeah. Doing moments with it, man. And uh, that's crazy. the different that's athletes right. was coming, like, that's not Mary and Bob, because they looking for the dreads. Yep. Mary said, oh, oh, I'm Mary. I'm a Mary. That, that is him. And, you know, they get the phone, you know, they Google everything. Mm -hmm. Man, it, it, but that's what he brought when yeah. people was around him. But then he went in, he'll go into the, Give, give them give them just a little bit of a flash of what they yes. need to see and then go so back to the So that's why I'm saying he was balancing, yeah. but he was, my words, he was trying to come out of that thing, yeah. but something had a hole, man. Yeah. And he just wanted kids and families. Yep. He said they don't judge. Uh, wow. Well, before we get out of here, Coach, man, I want to give you opportunity to, to let everybody know. Everybody knows what they've seen in the news. Yeah. They've heard the stories. Um, I know that you've had plenty of opportunity. People are trying to pay you to speak on it and everything else. What do you want people to know about MB? I want to say again, he was an angel on earth. He was a gift. Uh, what you may have saw later on, did it occur? Possibly it did. Mm -hmm. But if you cared for him, you would have checked him on it. You got what I'm saying? If you cared, uh, God blessed me to have a mindset to 
because I had him when he, if we can use the word, when he was on top, coming in the cow to the cowboy, mm. to when he was just MB. Yeah, Larry and Barber. Yeah, and uh, I, I, you know, dealing with Demetrius Underwood, and that that was a task for me. Right. Uh, MB wasn't a task. Right. But through dealing with Demetrius, with that bipolar. I saw signs. You, you never know from from doing, dealing with him. I, then I was able to see, like, oh, okay. Yeah. And, and the missions. patience, man. Patience, you learned to endure. And, and MB taught me so. I tell you, it didn't come with an instruction because right. there were times I just MB. We're gonna separate from each other for a few days. I need a break. Yeah. <laughs> no, for real. Uh, I understand. Yes, yes, sir. But guess what? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He'll show up anyway. Yeah. yeah. That's what he Listen, does. what he would do. I go outside and be just sitting in the front of the aisle in the car. Now, with that being said, he wanted to be loved, man. Yeah. You get what I just said? Yeah. Didn't bother me. He just be sitting out there. Go. I go out and be, go lay. I ain't want to stay. I just want to be around you. I love him, man. That's an easy angel. Wow. Yeah. Well, Coach, man, thanks for, Thank for you, taking man. the time and coming to share. I know you've everybody has tried to get you to share. Um, thanks for listening to the call, Nate, when he when he reached out to you. Had to, man. To come out and um and and you actually lay out the real narrative. Well, I sure you mean it. I didn't mean lead, mean to leave you out. Can yeah. I say something about the big fellow over here? What you got? We were we were in long not we were in Long Island, New York. <laughs> at an offense defense camp. Yeah. <laughs> Cause he, you know, he brought me when I was coaching at camp. We would always go to the camps every, every summer. He had bought that, uh, that excursion. He had extended the excursion with the big wheels right, on it. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> We're in the parking lot at a at a, at a, at a Delphi College in Long Island, New York. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm looking. We sitting way up here. I said, Nate, you about to uh, hit this car? He ain't no car. I said, knock out, we own it. <laughs> 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 we was on top of the car, man. Uh, they say, damn, see, fly. Yeah. So Nate wrote a note. Yeah. You know, put it on the car. And, Nate yeah. got, and, and the dude came out later and said, uh, we went on and did the camp. Yeah. And said, uh, don't even worry about it. Nathan. Nah, you no, nah, I'm a paper. You never yeah. have big fellow TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got it done the same day. Yeah. I'm just saying that that was just so fun to we me. I was, on yeah, I was like, <laughs> stop, man. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. We, we yeah. have him another time. Yeah, we'll exactly. talk we'll to him about that, yeah. man. Let me tell you something. Well, no, we weren't even on a good note laughing, y'all. It was yeah. and, I, and I appreciate no. man, the invite, man. And uh, yeah, y'all right. Y'all y'all the only ones I talk to. Yeah, we appreciate about. that. Appreciate that. Yes, man. Um, well, it's important. Is. It's very important. Yeah. Thanks again, Coach. Man, if you guys, um, I was a part of a documentary called uh, called um, Mind Games that the yeah. Dallas wow. Cowboys did. They did a really good job and one of their Deep Blue series, and it's about mental health. So for those of you that would like to dive more into what Coach just shared, and particularly he just shared about MB story, um, but if you guys want to go back and hear. Um, others perspectives and when you talk about jesse was on there speaking right. um you know yes. charles haley was on there yeah, speaking. Haley was yeah. there. Um, so there's yes. a number of people on there go back and check out mind games and dallascowboys.com but this is another episode let me tell you something yeah what you got let me tell you something right quick like that is the difference charles haley asked for help mm. marion marion tried wow. and couldn't wow and haley he came out to, to yeah, be yeah. a help yeah wow. they kind of clashed at first right. Wow. Because it was two of the same. I'm going to call it two alphas hooked yeah. up. Yeah. Yes, man. All right, yeah. Well, man, hey, y'all tune in next time. There's another episode of Let Me Tell You Something. See y'all next time. Y'all be blessed. Thank you. Thank you.